Hall of Fame basketball legend Bill Walton has passed away at the age of 71. The basketball world has lost one of its most colorful figures. Basketball legend Bill Walton has passed away at the age of 71, the NBA announced Monday, after battling cancer in recent years. Born on Novara 5, 1952, in La Mesa, Califers, just east of San Diego, Walton had a renowned college career at UCLA under iconic coach John Wooden. During his career in Westwood, the 6'11 center won two national championships in 1972-73 and three National College Player of the Year awards and was a three-time All-American. His teams lost only four games in his three seasons as a varsity player. Freshmen were not allowed to play back then, going 86-4 overall. His success continued in the NBA. The number one overall pick in the 1974 NBA draft by the Portland Trailblazers, he won an NBA championship in 1977 and MVP award, averaging 18.9 points and 13.2 rebounds in 1978 but he struggled with chronic foot injuries that limited him to 209 games out of a possible 328 played in four seasons. After sitting out the entire 1978-79 season to protest how his and his teammates' injuries had been treated, Walton signed with the San Diego Clippers as a free agent. He played in only 169 games over six seasons, missing two full campaigns due to foot injuries. In 1985, Walton was traded to the Boston Celtics. He played a career-high 80 games during the 1985-86 season and won another NBA championship and sixth Man of the Year honors for a team with Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish. Walton played 10 games the following season and retired after injuries, prevented him from playing the 1986-87 campaign. Bill Walton was truly one of a kind. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said in a statement. As a Hall of Fame player, he redefined the center position. His unique all-around skills made him a dominant force at UCLA and led to an NBA regular season and finals MVP, two NBA championships, and a spot on the NBA's 50th and 75th anniversary teams. What I will remember most about him was his zest for life, Silver added, always upbeat smiling ear to ear and looking to share his wisdom and warmth. Walton was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 1993 and the College Basketball Hall of Fame in 2006. Beyond his remarkable accomplishments as a player, it's his relentless energy, enthusiasm for the game, and unwavering candor that have been the hallmarks of his larger-than-life personality, said UCLA head coach Mick Cronin in a statement. As a passionate UCLA alumnus and broadcaster, he loved being around our players, hearing their stories, and sharing his wisdom and advice. For me as a coach, he was honest, kind, and always had his heart in the right place. I will miss him very much. It's hard to imagine a season in Pauley Pavilion without him. Generations of basketball fans likely know Walton better as an eccentric basketball broadcaster for the first 20 years of his broadcasting career, he called college and NBA games for CBS, NBC, The Clippers, and ESPN, ABC. After a three-year absence while recovering from back surgery, alleviating injuries that went back to his playing career, Walton returned as a full-time analyst for ESPN.